Toonami is doing a month of movies. Are any of them American movies? Hell no! That's right, they're all movies from that country that we keep getting entertainment from, but we don't care about anything else that's in it. What's that country? England! No, wait. China! No, wait. Australia! I give up. This is Akira. This cute title scene. That's right, people. Cartoon Network started out with a legend, so I'm gonna review that legend. And that legend is, as you just saw, Akira. This film is so popular, so legendary, Kanye West did a video where he ripped it off, and if Kanye West does it, you know everyone's gonna hear about it, even if we don't understand it. Yeah. And I've heard of this movie in other ways, too. You definitely hear it a lot from a lot of anime fans, a lot of sci-fi people like it. It's a really popular movie, and knowing that it was going to air on Cartoon Network, that got me nervous. Because a lot of times, cult popular things, especially when it comes to anime a lot of times, gets overhyped, and the hype makes it feel worse, and sometimes it's genuinely bad. And is Akira an overhyped mess? Hell no! This film is awesome. It's amazing. Visually, it's stunning. Even though it's been like 20-something years since it came out? Maybe more? Who cares? All I know is that this film was stunning, it was awesome, and just great. Um, basically, the story, for those of you who don't know, is in 1988, Japan gets nuked again. And fast forward 30, 40, some odd years later, we find that it's kind of how it is now, like most cities are. There's a lot of crime, a lot of insanity, controversy. Um, you really have it, it almost has this do the right thing, the Spike Lee movie feel to it, where it's kind of like all the social issues, all the insanity of everything kind of comes together, only in this case it's sci-fi. So it's a bit more action-packed and fun than Do the Right Thing. And this film, just from the beginning, is fun. Um, you know, it starts off, we meet our main characters. Insert complicated Japanese name here. And basically, he is kind of what you expect out of your typical 1980s hero. He's brash, he's impulsive. He doesn't appear to be very book smart, but he's very confident, very street smart, very edgy, kind of cool like that. Um, you have your other main character, Tetsuo. Tetsuo steals the show because the majority of the show is about him. So, yeah. But basically what happens is they're part of a motorcycle gang. There's some other throwaway characters in there, but you don't need to care. Basically, they're a motorcycle gang, and they go to fight another motorcycle gang, and you get this brilliant, genius 15 minutes introducing us to the world they're in perfectly. You see what the city is like. You see what the people are like. You see how crime reacts to everything. You see how people react to everything. It successfully masters showing you this world while giving you this awesome, fun motorcycle fight. And again, it sets you up for a very fast-paced, but very smart, intelligent film. And there's a lot of it, too. Plus, there's a lot of artistic things you see, like light streaking, detail in certain metallic things that are still in use today, and I kind of have a feeling this is where it first got majorly used and shown to kind of a world scale. Um, and basically from there, Tetsuo runs into this weird kind of Frankenstein monster child, and he starts developing psychic powers, and it's crazy, and it's insane, but it's 1980s sci-fi, so what do you expect? Um, basically from there, Tetsuo starts causing mayhem and chaos, and it's up to, insert generic name here guy, to save him and stop it and save the day, get the girl, all that typical 80s stuff, all action-packed, all awesome, all very straightforward, except for when it doesn't need to be, but again, it's the 80s. And honestly, looking at this film, you would think it's a 1980s movie. The animation's pretty good, but you could tell. it. It was amazing at the time, and it's still amazing today, but it's a little dated. You know, like you see, um, they've got a group of girls, like all motorcycle gangs do. They all look very 80s. It's definitely got that Robocop sense of violence to it. 
very bloody, very graphic. Um, that, there's a freaking almost sexual assault scene in this movie. And this is rated R for a reason. Kids, don't watch this. Or if you have watched this, leave your nightmares in the comments section below. But definitely, it's worth it. It's awesome. It's amazing. Visually, it's stunning. The voice acting's good. I'm not going to lie. Um, you can definitely tell the voices don't sync with the mouths all that well. But again, it's a fast-paced movie, and this is a dub. You kind of expect that to happen. It's not the language the film's meant to be in. But this film is definitely a must-see for anyone who's in, whether it's anime, someone who's in a sci-fi, loves a nice 80s movie. This film, definitely insane. If I had to pick one little gripe, and it's so damn close to the end, the ending, like all sci-fi films, gets a little convoluted, a lot's happening at once, it's a little hard to follow, and there's one or two things that maybe could have been done a bit differently, but that's partially my own personal taste. And a lot of sci-fi movies, towards the end, get kind of convoluted. This year alone, Pacific Rim got convoluted, Elysium got convoluted, Gravity got convoluted. So, these films definitely share that in common with Akira, and I can definitely see why a lot of sci-fi movies today take cues from this movie. And, these films also have something in common with Akira, because guess what, people? Akira is 10 out of 10 on the sci-fi scale. That's right, I don't regret a minute of seeing this film. It was awesome, it was amazing. I can't wait to see it again, preferably not with commercials, because that's why it took so long, and... Ugh, frickin' TV, man. But, this is definitely worth it. Take a look, I seriously recommend it. You will be blown away, I know I was. In the comments section below, tell me your favorite, like, classic 80s action sci-fi movie. I used to always say RoboCop. Now I gotta rethink that a little after seeing this movie. That's right, leave it below. And as always, you can click here to subscribe more, because from the sounds of it, Cartoon Network's gonna be airing a few more movies of this nature, and I'd like to talk about them all, because they kind of seem pretty fun, yeah.